drink. But right after you were burned, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you see, if you see kids are drinking together some simple beer, it's okay. It, it just will fine. So, drink if you, but don't get drunk. So, being, being drunk is another story. So, one good thing is in China, if you, if you just like a beer, beer, in China, there's hundreds or thousands types of beer. Each city has their local beer. It's other smaller, like the national brands of beers. And also, beer is cheap, all right? It's a one liter, the big bottle, they don't have. They have a small bottle, but it's more expensive, really expensive, like American bottles, a can. But the regular Chinese beer is a one liter. It's a really light. I think it's a 5% alcohol only. Or maybe four or three and a half. US like seven or eight. But it tasted really good, it's really light. A draft of beer. Uh, it's really cheap. Like uh, regular or the most popular beer is called a Qingdao draft. Cold is about eighty one a bottle. So one point three dollars a bottle. So it is cheap, but uh, it's it's hard to get drunk. And don't Try to get drunk. It's, it's not fun. Uh, uh, food. So you, you need to try. Yes. How do you say cold when you're? I will give you. Uh, that's the, the, the next lecture. Okay. So why were Chinese? Yeah. Ice yeah. cold, right? Yeah. Uh, food. You, you need to try it because for all the three cities you visit, they have different cuisine. I encourage you guys to try different food. The tribe in, uh, in the same place, the restaurant. I've got a few slides to show that. All right, um, hygiene and personal space. That's the thing I got. I have to mention to you guys because I'm from there, so I know hygiene is it, different. It's different. Uh, we go out of the U.S., even in Europe, and the personal space as well because there are so many people in China, so you won't have much personal space when you travel in, in subway, in bus, on the street, okay? So if somebody bumps into, into you, it's okay. I mean, they didn't mean to offend you. It's just that's the way it is. You have so many people. And then you don't have to say hi or, or greet everybody you see on the street. And nobody does that. <laughs> All right. It's not like in Alabama. The first time I came to Alabama 10 years ago, I was really surprised or I, I was really shocked because you know, people just greet you on the street, right? And mm -hmm. wave will say hi to you. But now I got used to it. I like it. But in China it's different because there's so many people. You don't need to uh, say hi or, or, or if you run into anybody, somebody, it's okay. Okay. You don't have to say, excuse me, if you have to I mean, go quick or you just push it all away. It's all right. <laughs> you will be pushed away too, a lot, I know, in the subway, yeah. So it's okay, just the culture thing. It's, does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty interesting experience. But uh, one of the most interesting or the fun the previous groups had in China was going to the subway, riding the subway during the rush hour. It's really fun. Yeah. Many of the, the uh, students, or our students, really enjoyed that because they would never had it, that kind of experience in the U.S. So it's, uh, babies in sleeping pants, uh, a lot of babies don't wear diapers. All right, so if you see a uh, some babies doing their business on the street, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, because having a diaper is really waste. It's, it's not a green, you know, right? Diaper is hard to recycle, expensive. <coughs> and uh, public uh, urination and grooming, uh, you guys don't have to do that uh, if you're not drunk. But, uh, uh, speeding, that's another problem. It's still a big problem in China. I see people do that everywhere. Uh, but it, it, it's just okay. If people spit all the time? Uh, 
Yes. Not everybody, but a lot of lot of people, especially aging or kind of old people. Uh, so, for instance, if you're like dipping, or you're walking down the street, they'd be all right. Yeah, two is three, not two, two is some anybody else. Yeah, <laughs> that's, true. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's all the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> I'm not giving you all the negative, just we can like to, uh, get you guys to write. There's a lot of good stuff. I'm just telling you something you might be surprised or shocked when you see it in China. And uh, more um, uh, girls and, and guys and holding hands, holding shoulders, uh, walking, walking really close uh, on the street. They're just no one. They're friends. They're good friends. There's nothing more than that. So if you see people doing that on the street here, right, you know what what kind of people. But <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's totally fine, China. Uh, smaller personal bubbles. The same thing. Personal space. We have a much much smaller space. China and uh, and also the AC air conditioning will be a, a, an issue for some of you guys. We got used to the cold air in the summer here indoor. And in Europe and China, the temperature was slightly high. Uh, even there's a, the air, uh, air conditioning air conditioning the room. The temperature is higher than they have 72 degrees, 75 indoor, but over there. It could be 80 or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so then you do that. It's, it's sustainable, right? It's green to save energy. Uh, sweating, so it's, it's normal. People sweating on the street and relaxing or and talking, that's okay. Crowds and uh, pickpocketing. Uh, yeah, it's uh, in a tourist place in a big city. It's a big city, but the only experience we had, I told you guys, was one of the guys got his camera outside in the backpack. He put the back, backpack on his back, so the camera just was hanging there. He, he lost it that uh, in Shanghai. It's only uh, accident, incident we had for pickpocketing. But to keep, keep your valuable belonging um, close to you, have like, your, your travel pouch, Put that um, in front of your chest, and the shirt. Keep your passport and debit and credit cards with you all the time. All the time. Don't mock it in the hotel. You can leave anything else in the hotel room. But keep the passport and the, the cards with you. And also, emergency phone number. So just in case you got a lot, you get lost, you can call the professor. Or you can call back home. All right. Uh, have you ever seen this or used this before? What is it? It's a toilet. Toilet, yeah. Water. In a trend, yes, water. Not much. All right. Where do you live? Pretty nice, right? Stainless steel. <laughs> but uh, it did take some energy or. Uh, exercise to get used to this. <laughs> so if you see this, uh, you have, that's what you have, you have to use it. Uh, another thing is, all right, bring toilet paper with you. There won't be any public toilet paper. Right? This is important, I know. What is a very great problem? Here you can purchase it in China. Yes, you can purchase them in China. We will take you to one more at some of the stores. And you can buy these things from there. Yeah, yeah that, that's, the, that's the two trips in China. We, the professor went there earlier. <coughs> uh, we bought a bunch of toilet papers, some other supplies. We're giving them to students. Still really appreciate that. And But remember, you have to bring toilet paper with you all the time, or paper towel. So you get that back. Any questions so far, guys? <laughs>